crocodile tear. Sussex misled the media as noble couple towards the hot news disgusts public. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex posted a message to their Archwell website in solidarity with Ukrainians. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are standing in solidarity with the people of Ukraine. In a statement posted to their Archwell website on Thursday, the royal couple urged world leaders to support the nation, and condemn the Russian invasion. Prince Harry and Meghan, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex and all of us at Archul stand with the people of Ukraine against this breach of international and humanitarian law and encourage the global community and its leaders to do the same, they write. The announcement comes as Russian troops enter Ukraine and approach Kyiv, the country's capital. On Thursday morning, Russian President Vladimir Putin announced an invasion of Ukraine as part of a special military operation. President Joe Biden responded by announcing sanctions against Russia, saying, Putin is the aggressor in this situation. Putin selected this conflict. And now he and his country will have to pay the price. This is not the first time Prince Harry and Meghan have dipped their toe into world politics, they've spoken out about the need for humanitarian aid in Haiti and commented on Afghanistan, where Prince Harry served two tours in the British Army, for a total of ten years. When any person or community suffers, a piece of each of us does so with them, whether we realize it or not, Meghan and Harry wrote in August 2021. And though we are not meant to live in a state of suffering, we, as a people, are being conditioned to accept it. It's easy to find ourselves feeling powerless, but we can put our values into action, together. Aside from the Sussexes, the royal family has yet to comment on what's happening in Ukraine but the court circular showed that Prince William visited MI6 on Wednesday and met with the Defence Secretary yesterday. Previously, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle will on Saturday accept an award from the National Association for the Advancement of Coloured People NAACP, a leading US civil rights group, in recognition of their work to help a woman's shelter in Texas, their promotion of COVID vaccine equity and a partnership to create community relief centres. The NAACP President's Award is given each year in recognition of special achievement and distinguished public service. It has been won by Muhammad Ali, LeBron James, Rihanna, Jay-Z and Lauryn Hill, and political figures including the Reverend Jesse Jackson, Colin Powell, and Condoleezza Rice. In a statement, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex said, It's a true honor to be recognized by Derek Johnson and the NAACP whose efforts to propel racial justice and civil rights are as vital today as they were nearly 115 years ago, when the NAACP was formed. Johnson, the NAACP president, said the couple had heeded the call to social justice and have joined the struggle for equity both in the US and around the world. In collaboration with the couple and their charity, Archul, the NAACP created a new award. The $100,000 NAACP Archul Digital Civil Rights Award will honor leaders working at the nexus of social justice and technology. Johnson said the couple had decided to inspire the next generation of activists, ensuring the support and recognition of generations of civil rights leaders to come. The first recipient will be Sophia Noble, author of Algorithms of Oppression, a 2018 study of how Internet search engines serve to reinforce racial and sexist bias. Digital civil rights and protections from harm on the Internet are a crucial pathway to a more just world, Noble said. Noble's work on how digital technologies reinforce cultural, race and gender stereotypes began after it was suggested she use Google to search for the term black girls and was horrified to find that search results led to pornographic sites. When the couple announced the formation of their Archul charity, two years ago, they put out a note explaining its purpose. They said they believed in the best of humanity and said they would work to build a better world, one act of compassion at a time.